Good afternoon to everyone here. We are pleased to acquaint you with a brief report about new capabilities implemented in the new version of the software package Lira 10.14. Design and graphical environment. By developing the calculation capabilities of SP Lira, it is added five new types of problems. These are Non-linear problem of the cross-section system, consideration of assemblage in the cross-section system, non-linear problem of the cross-section system considering assemblage, non-linear stationary thermal conductivity problem, non-linear non-stationary thermal conductivity problem. The finite element library has been supplemented with more than 20 new types of finite elements. These are physically and geometrically nonlinear general bar finite element has been added, number 610. Physically and geometrically nonlinear general finite elements of shell have been added, number 642. 644. Physically non-linear special finite elements of non-elastic links have been added. Number 257, 258. Geometrically non-linear finite elements of thin shell have been added. Number 346, 347, 446, 447, 646, 647. Single noded element of reinforcement insert for the cross section has been added. Number 101. Two noded element of damper has been added. Number 58. Accounting of elastic base for all geometrically nonlinear bars and plates has been added. Two new laws of nonlinear deformation according to Eurocode 2 and DBNV 2.698-2009 have been added. Internal forces summation simultaneously from the bars and plates has been implemented for equivalent bars. Other innovations has also been implemented, namely, seismic action calculation module has been implemented according to SPRKEN 1998-1204-2012 considering NTP RK 0801.1-2017 and NTP RK 0801.2-2021, Kazakhstan. Calculation and display of nodal reactions has been implemented for non-linear problems. When complying automatic combinations, DCL, the requirements set forth in EN 1990-2002 standards have been considered. When specifying a load on the edge of solid finite element, it is now possible to orient uh, the load in axis of the edge. When transferring uh, the selected reinforcement to the initial data, it is now possible to specify the number of ranges. Functionality of tabular editing of design scheme 20 new tables has been significantly extended. Mechanism of automatic rounding of architectural elements, contour or their joints has been implemented. The concept of node group, similar to the previously existing element groups, has been added. Possibility to transfer a model fragment by using the clipboard both within one problem and between problems has been implemented. The add node mode 
now allows to smooth uh, the position of inner nodes of the discretization of a flat plate fragment for smoothing algorithms has been implemented. Cross-section system has been improved significantly. Implemented updates and added possibilities are as follows. The possibility to consider nonlinear properties of materials has been implemented. Nonlinearity system. Calculation of cross sections with variable geometry has been implemented. Assemblage system. Single noded finite element of reinforcement inserts has been added. Calculation of cross sections taking into account pre stressing has been implemented. Thermal conductivity system has also been changed significantly. Implemented updates and added possibilities are as follows. Possibility to take into account nonlinear dependencies of thermal conductivity coefficient, heat capacity and heat exchange coefficient on temperature has been implemented. Calculation of non-stationary heat conductivity problem, both linear and non-linear, has been implemented. As a result, six problems of stationary types and four problems of non-stationary types have been implemented for the thermal conductivity problem. Automatic designed combinations of internal forces. Implemented updates and added possibilities are as follows. Algorithms generating uh, the graph of logical links of loading states and selection of combinations have been accelerated significantly. Requirements set forth in the standards, which are based on EN 1990-2002, have been implemented. It has been implemented the possibility to specify whether combination shall be used as design and or normative load. Reinforced concrete structures. Implemented updates and added possibilities are as follows. Selection and check of the specified reinforcement has been accelerated significantly. Display of the selected reinforcement areas in the form of diagrams and other fields has been accelerated. Selection and check of reinforcement in plates with hollows and stiffening ribs has been implemented. Possibility to save and use reinforcement templates in the future has been implemented. Algorithms for reinforcement selection and check according to Eurocode family standards have been improved. Possibilities of punching calculation have been extended. Steel structures Implemented updates and added possibilities are as follows. Calculation of cross-sections of T-beam and asymmetrical I-beam according to Eurocode has been implemented. Designing of light steel thin walled sigma profiles and Z-profiles according to Eurocode has been implemented. The algorithms determining the cross-section classes according to Eurocode has been optimized. When calculating the elements subjected to warping according to Eurocode, the normal stresses caused by B moments and tangential stresses separately from the torque moment of free and constrained torsion have been taken into account. The clarifying calculation of CY and CZ coefficients, which take into account the possibility of placing deformations development at available bending for stress stain behavior 2 and 3, has been implemented in course of design according to DBN V.2.6 198.2014. For Dudley symmetrical rolled and welded I beams, rolled rectangular hollow sections, pipes, and round timber. Soil system. 
Implemented updates and added possibilities are as follows. Automatic calculation of subgrade reaction coefficients or pile stiffnesses with load refinement up to the required convergence value has been added. Iterative calculation of pile clusters as well as intergroup influence between clusters according to the requirements uh, set forth in EN 1997-1204 has been implemented. Screw piles calculation according to Debian V.2.1.10.2009 has been added. Stability of the soil surrounding the pile has been calculated. Import and export. Plug-in with Revit, Tecla and Advanced Steel have been updated up to current versions of these products. Import from subformat has been implemented. Import from point S2K sub 2000 format has been implemented. Import and export of point INP abacus format has been implemented. Import of point MSH format for 4.x version has been updated. Many tables of results have been added for Lira API. This is not an exhaustive list of updates incorporated in a new version of software package Lira. You can obtain more information from the next reports of this series. Thank you for your attention. Dear colleagues, I am Doctor of Technical Science Isaac Yevzerov and I will tell you about new possibilities of computational processor of software program Lira 1014. First, I remind about problem types which can be solved in Lira 10 by using finite element method. There are linear static problems, linear dynamic problems based on the model method, wind, seismic, impulse, impact and harmonic action, static and dynamic problems with separate consideration of physical and geometrical nonlinearities, static problems with simultaneous consideration of physical and geometrical nonlinearities, problems of step-by-step -step building direction, assemblance system, including physical nonlinearity. Linear and physically nonlinear problems with progressive damage, dissembling in statings, dissembling in dynamic plus. Linear and nonlinear problems using earthquake accelerograms or seismogram with direct dynamic integration. Elastogeometric characteristics of the cross sections, cross section system, including nonlinearity and assembly. Linear and nonlinear problems of stationary and transient thermal conductivity. Filtration in solids. An equation of nonlinear transient thermal conductivity has the following form. Where T is temperature, tau zero initial temperature, T small is time, G is heat source densities, K from T and C from T positive material thermal conductivity and specific heat. This equation is derived from the law of heat conservation and Fourier heat conservation law. The existence of a unique solution is proved in a book of Ladizhinska, Salonikov and Duralseva linear and quasi-linear parabolic type equation. To use finite element method, it's needed the integral identity, which is similar to the principle of virtual walk. We derive it using Green's formula for integration by parts. And we have two. In this formula, functionals B, A and G responds to material thermal conductivity, specific heat and heat sources densities. Three variants of boundary conditions are possible. First, the temperature T is equal to S0 of T is used on the part of the boundary gamma 1. The heat flux Q is set on the part of the boundary gamma 2. The heat exchange according to the law is on the part of the boundary gamma 3, where K from temperature is firm coefficient 
S1 from temperature, ambient temperature. Except convective, radiative heat exchange according to the Stefan Boltzmann law may be specified. The boundary condition 3 is implemented similarly to an elastic support with stiffness k from t. And two terms are added to functionals A and G respectively. In the linear case, when material thermal conductivity specific heat and film coefficient do not depend on temperature, we obtain more simple equation. Discretization by spatial variables using finite element methods reduces the problem to, to a system of ordinary differential equation, which are solvent using the finite difference method. The error of finite element method and difference schemes for linear and nonlinear trans thermal conductivity equation is investigation in the monograph of Marchuk and Dagoshko introduction to a proactive mesh methods. By replacing the values of functions and time derivatives in the points Tn in equation 2 with the corresponding difference approximation, we obtain the difference scheme. Vq is time step, tau n is, is equal n theta, Tn is equal temperature in time Tn and other notation. This scheme is unconditionally stable. Its error is proportional to second power of time step in linear case. In nonlinear case, the error is proportional to time step. Viscous damping element. Modeling nodes, stiffness and mass matrices, local loads and internal forces then are calculated such as for an element of a flat or spatial truss. The viscous damping matrix shall be calculated based on the possible work functional by using linear basic functions of truss element, where Cx and Cyz viscous damping coefficients in the longitudinal and transverse direction. Viscous damping is proportional to velocity gradient. Finite element of unelastic links. The lower displacement diagram of such element is close to the diagram with kinematic hardening. To model such device, two new types of elements have been created, one with single noded and two noded elements. For these elements, you can set a linear or non-linear law in each of six directions, and also select a hardening law. For ideal plastic behavior, the initial elastic modulus will be used during unloading. And for isotropic hardening, elastic behavior will continue until the maximum stress accumulated over the entire period of loading history is reached. Physically and geometrically nonlinear bulk element. The main characteristic are set as the for physically nonlinear element. Calculation is performed using step-by-step -step method, and each step the stiffness matrix is formed in the new position coordinate system simultaneously with the change of the tangent modulus of elasticity. The change of ge geometry occurs according to the Cauchy-Green deformation tensor. Unloading is performed by the initial modulus of elasticity, elastic plasticity. This corresponds better to real behavior of concrete and metal than nonlinear elasticity model. Elements can work with materials that have a descending branch on the stress, stress diagram during compression. Also, we have new physically and geometrically nonlinear shell finite element. This element takes into account both physical and geometrical nonlinearity. The main characteristic are set as for physically nonlinear elements. Calculation is performed using step-by-step -step method. In this step, the stiffness matrix is forming new position coordinate system simultaneously with the change of the tangent modulus of elasticity. The change of geometry occurs according to Cauchy-Green deformation tensor. Unloading is performed on the initial model of elasticity, elastic plasticity. This corresponds better to the real behavior of material. Equivalent elements. The equivalent element approach provides that beam or column is modeled by set of plates, bars, or solid elements. For structural calculation, the stresses in the elements are collected into eternal force of equivalent bar, which not involved in the finite element calculation. Compared to the previous version, the work with the table of equivalent element has been significantly accelerated. The measure chance for equivalent elements in 10 14 version is the ability to collect internal functions into bar not only from the plate and solid element but also 
from the bars. This is convenient for calculation of ribbed wells and slabs. When, for example, a T-beam is modulated by, by plates, flange element, and by a bar with rigged inserts, wall element. Once internal forces are collected into the equivalent bar, we can calculate the structural reinforcement. Other innovation, the ability to view nodal reaction in static nonlinear problems, the ability to collect masses from densities in assemblage problem, in assemblage with dynamic plus. New types of stick shells, geometrically nonlinear plates, physically and geometrically nonlinear shells, the ability to specify elastic foundation for geometrically nonlinear elements. Thank you for your attention. Good day, my name is Vladislav Korechuk. I am the lead engineer of software package Lira 10 support. Let me tell you about the capabilities of the heat conductivity module and the main changes that have been introduced with the release of version 10.14. In general, the modeling of thermal conductivity problem is an important part in the modeling of engineering problems. It, for example, can be the calculation of the, the efficiency of heating and insulation of buildings, including geothermal, modeling of comfortable conditions in storage facilities, insulation of heat pipes and water pipes, fire resistance, and other various engineering tricks. When we present each of the Lira 10 versions, we show different heat transfer equations dependent on the completeness of the implementation of this process. You can see that uh, the equation has become more complete and considers more factors than previous versions. It can be seen that the specific heat, material thermal conductivity and film coefficient can change nonlinear depending on the temperature in the element. You can also see that radiation heat exchange was added according to Stephen Boltzmann law, which considers emissivity. If in the basic equivalent of thermal conductivity it is assumed that all time derivatives are equal to zero, then we get the equation of stationary thermal conductivity. We also have implemented this analysis type in Lira 10. In general, eight types of problems with thermal conductivity can be solved in Lira. Five types of stationary problem and three types of non-stationary problem. Heat transfer can be modeled to take into account nonlinearity effects, assemblage, filtration, and uh, time varying mecha mechanical dynamic loads. The load library allows you to specify almost any type of load on bar, plates, solid, and single nodded elements. For the problem of transient heat transfer, many types of load can be specified, both in tabular form in the dynamic load and in the form of right hand parts for which any diagrams of the dependence of the coefficient for load over time can be specified. Now let me introduce one of our innovations in version 14 and study why it is needed. The fact is that during experimental calculation it can be seen that the values of material thermal conductivity and specific heat are different at different temperatures. Moreover, this difference is quite significant and has a strong influence on the calculation. Here on the diagram you can see the recommended dependencies of changes in thermal conductivity and specific heat and temperature. And you can see that in the temperature range at which the fire resistance is calculated from 0 to 1200 Celsius degrees, these parameters change by more than two times. Now, software package Lira 10 help can consider these effects during thermal analysis. Here on the slide you can see how the data can be specified in tabular form in the program interface. The only restriction is that the diagram of thermal conductivity must be descending and the graph of specific heat ascending. Lira 10 uses special elements which specify surface heat exchange boundary conditions. The 151th element can be used for nodes, 168th element is used for plate edge, and 162 and 164th are used for solid element phase. 
In the 14th version, we have considered nonlinearity effects for the film coefficient, which can also depend on the temperature of the body at the boundary. In the 14th version for surface, surface heat exchange elements, emissivity also was added. In the thermal analysis results, you can view the animation of the temperature field by nodes and elements, heat flow density results and its direction at each time step, stresses and uh, displacements caused by thermal expansion during heating of the element. There is also a lot of other information to view in the form of mosaic and tables. In general, we have a wide range of possibilities for viewing of calculated data, and you will be able to find the most convenient way for processing and analysis of result. Also, after solution of heat transfer problem, you can transfer the obtained results to the input data for a new task, either in the form of an initial temperature or in the form of a temperature load caused by the expansion of the element due to heating. It allows you to combine almost any successive stages of calculation for various types of mechanical and air temperature influences. Thank you for your attention. Welcome to my presentation on the topic Further Development of Cross-Section Module in Software Package Lira 10. Bar elements in the calculation schemes of buildings and structures are used to model various bearing structures, namely frames of buildings, lattice towers, trusses or structural shells. Depending on the ratio of cross-section dimensions, we can distinguish the following types of cross-sections – massive, solid, thin-walled and combined cross-sections. To solve the tasks related to calculations for strength, stiffness and stability of the elements forming part of structures and buildings, it is necessary to calculate the elastic geometrical characteristics of such cross-sections. The cross-section module of software package Lira 10 is used to implement the above-mentioned purposes. I would like to focus very briefly on the capabilities of the previous versions of software package Lira 10. Based on the finite element method, Software Package Lira 10 has implemented a universal method for calculation of elastic geometrical characteristics of the bar composite cross-section. The finite elements implemented for cross-sections modeling are as follows. Finite element 101 a single noded element of cross-section reinforcement inserts, finite element 103, a two-noded, three-noded element of thin-walled cross-section, finite element uh, 112, and finite element 113, triangular elements of solid cross-section. Finite element 119 and 120, quadrilateral element of solid cross-section. The program enables you to design complex cross-sections based on simple ones. It is possible to create cross-sections by using parametric cross-sections, still rolled cross-sections, and polygons without or with inner openings. Cross-section module of software package Lira 10 allows you to create arbitrary composite cross-sections, calculate their elastic geometrical, plastic, torsional, shear, mass inertial and stiffness characteristics. The list of calculated characteristics for multi-material cross-section is given above on this slide. Further, the created cross-section can be used in design of buildings and structures as a cross-section of bar elements. Once the finite element method calculation is performed and the internal forces in the bar elements are defined, it is possible to evaluate the stresses, normal, tangential, 
principle and equivalent and deformations on the cross section of the bar element. Now let's proceed to the innovations implemented in version 14 of software package Lura 10. Setting of nonlinear physical and mechanical characteristics for cross section materials allows modeling the nonlinear behavior of the cross section. The algorithm of determining the stress stain behavior of the cross section has been implemented based on the deformation model. The latest innovations also allow modeling uh, the multi stage work of cross section and change geometry at each stage. For example, a steel reinforced concrete span bridge structure is usually characterized by two stage work. At the first stage of work of a span structure, the steel bearing beams accommodate the loads from the weight of steel structures from rock, reinforcement and grouting concrete. At the second stage, the combined loads from reinforced concrete slab and other existing loads are transmitted to the steel structures. Weight of waterproofing, roadway pavement, railing, sidewalk blocks, lighting poles, communications, temporary loads from rolling stock and pedestrians, etc are transmitted to the steel structures. Next, I will focus on the modeling of the filler beam decks, so let's talk briefly about it. At first, the filler beam decks were developed only for railway bridges, but in the last few decades they have also been widely and effectively used for road bridges. This structural typology has been widely used in France and Germany since the 19th century for bridges of short and medium spans. Currently, spans that cover the filler beam decks account for from 40 meter up to 50 meter for road bridges from 30 meter up to 35 meter for railway bridges. Despite disadvantages, the filler beam decks in Europe account from 10 to 25 percent of the existing stock of railway bridges, depending on the country. This slide illustrates the main stages of the filler beam deck construction, namely illustration of I-beams, formwork and lower transverse reinforcement, installation of upper longitudinal and transverse reinforcement and concreting of the slab, removal of formwork and corrosion protection of I-beams lower part. Using the example of filler beam decks, we will consider the modeling of two-stage work of the structure. As an illustration, we will consider modeling of a part of the cross-section with one I-beam, although SP Lira 10 allows you to consider this structure in full. Linear and non-linear work of a filler beam deck was reviewed. The first stage of construction in both cases is characterized by a linear work of the I-beam. It should be mentioned that stress-stained behavior for two noted thin walled elements of cross-section can be displayed via mosaics or diagrams. Taking into account the nonlinear work at the second stage of construction, we can observe uh, the stress increased by 1.8 times compared to the linear work. It is possible now to specify pretensioning for reinforcement and calculate pre-stressing of a cross section. Dismantle of cross section spots makes it possible to assess the defects and internal stresses in the damaged cross section. 
This slide illustrates the initial cross section of the column and the cross section of the column with concrete chips in one corner and the change in uh, stress stained behavior in this column. By means of assemblage, it is possible to calculate strengthening of such cross sections. For example, with a metal casing made of angles. That's all for now. Thank you for your attention. We are pleased to acquaint you with presentation on the topic DCL implementation according to Eurocode standards. In order to define the most unfavorable load combinations, the Espelira implements two mechanisms, namely DCF – designed combination of internal forces and DCL – designed combination of loads. The DCF implements a criteria-based approach when only combinations considered to be picked for one of the predefined criteria will be selected. This allows reducing significantly the number of combinations to be considered at the stage of design, but there are limitations. The criteria should be linear. When compiling the DCL, it is not analyzed in advance whether this or that combination can become the most significant. And in the structural calculation, it is necessary to consider all possible combinations that can be obtained from the initial loads, and that both manual assignment of combinations and automatic combination are implemented for the DCL based on predefined regulatory document. Each country that implements the Eurocode as the national standard shall publish a translated text of the norms and develop the national annex that takes into account the specific geographical and climatic conditions, the use of accepted design approaches and established safety levels which the Eurocode keeps open for the countries to make a national choice. First of all, let's make a short review of the requirements set forth in the standards based on EN 1990-2002. The Eurocode basically defines four ultimate limit states, namely EQU, Static equilibrium, SRT, strengths, GEO, failure of excessive deformation of ground, and FAT, fatigue failure. STR is the most significant ultimate limit state for structural calculations when the strengths of the building materials governs. The effective value of action FD in general can be expressed by the formula given above, where gamma F is a partial reliability factor, psi is a combination factor, and FK is a characteristic value of action. This scheme demonstrates the tables from Appendix A1 used for the different ultimate limit states. Calculation of structural elements for which geological and technical impacts as well as soil resistance shall be taken into account must be performed by applying one of three approaches shown in the above given scheme. The National Annex regulates which approach can be applicable. All formulas used to calculate the combinations are summarized in the diagram as demonstrated on this slide. The ultimate limit states correspond to our first limit state, and the serviceability limit states correspond to our second limit state. Pay special attention to the designation of plus symbol and the sigma sign. Plus means 
shall be combined with. Sigma means combined effect caused by. It means that even without taking into account partial factors and combination factors, each of the formulas can be decomposed into many combinations. Implementation in software package Lira 10.14 Since we know the requirements of the standards, let's proceed to specifying the initial data directly in Lira. Lira 10.12 has already implemented the DCF calculation according to Eurocode standards. The calculation of automatic DCL is similarly implemented in version 14. The initial data described below are used both when generating the DCF and DCL. Choose European Union standards EN 1990-2002 in Loading States Editor when you select Regulatory document for the DCF DCL. Once you click on the button Variable Action Coefficients according to EN 1990-2002 a dialog box appears. This dialog box specifies the following. First, choice between formulas 6.10 or 6.10a and 6.10b for the group B. The formula 6.10 is always used for the groups A and C. In addition, it indicates the value of coefficient psi for the formula 6.10b and whether only constant loads shall be used for the formula 6.10a. Second, use of the factor psi 1,1 for accidental design situations or factor psi 2,1 for the fundamental variable action. Third, choice of the tables for the fundamental combinations, persistent or transient design situations. Chosen tables are marked with checkboxes. It allows designing structural elements for which geological and technical actions as well as interaction with soil shall be taken into account when you apply the approach 1. Fourth, you can also adjust the defaulted coefficients of psi variable action combinations. For the constant and persisting impacts in loading states, you can specify the following. Impact type adjustment factor to normative loads, factor to design unfavorable and favorable loads for limit states based on bearing capacity. For the temporary impacts in loading states, you can specify the following. Impact type, adjustment factor to normative loads, factor to design unfavorable, dominant or concurrent fundamental, and unfavorable other concurrent loads for limit states based on bearing capacity. Coefficients of combinations. The coefficients of combinations shall be taken from the above mentioned dialog box variable action coefficients according to EN 1990 -2002. For accidental and seismic actions in loading state, you can also specify the following. Impact type, adjustment factor to normative loads. Automatic generation of DCL combinations. This set of already considered initial data is sufficient to determine the DCF which will be calculated when starting the calculation of the problem. To generate automatic DCL, it will be necessary to add automatic combination to the combination library. 
The interface automatic combination consists of two tabs. The tab Generation displays an automatically created graph for logical links of loading states, which can be edited, and the list of formulas to be used for combination. Once you click the button Generate Combinations, the tab Combinations will be opened. The tab shows combinations generated as a result of combining. In order to find possible combinations of loading states, it is necessary to learn the graph by search in depth method. And afterwards, the found combinations will be inserted into the given list of formulas. The number of combinations generated for the problem is 328. Once the calculation has been performed, the results of calculation will be available in tabular and graphical form in the mode of analysis, both for each combination separately and as summary results for roll combinations at once. To display logical links intuitively, it is assumed that loading state is a graph of node and an arc is assumed to be a potential joint entering of two loading states into one combination. This slide illustrates the principle of graph formation for the fundamental logical links between loading states. The software package Lira up to 10.14 version allowed to calculate four sets of results for any designed combination of loads, namely design, design continuous part, normative, normative continuous part. When generating the user-defined combinations in version 14, you can specify which sets of internal forces shall be calculated – design, normative, or both design and normative. For automatic DCL, this field will be completed automatically. Thank you for your attention. Good afternoon. My name is Irina Parepichai. I am a quality control engineer for software program Lira 10. Our system integrates various models of engineering calculations ranging from soil analysis to assemblage and dynamics in a single graphical environment. Lira transforms complex processes into simple ones, providing a continuous flow of work process. Due to this, we can offer our customers the following benefits. Full integration. We integrate all the tools and processes you need in one platform. No more switching between different programs. Now you have everything in one. Efficiency. Automation of routine tasks and improved work process save your time spent on design allowing you to focus on innovations and creativity. Precision. Based on advanced algorithms and updated regulatory databases, Espelira 10 can guarantee a high level of precision in your calculations, ensuring reliability and trust in every single design. Optimize your work process by means of our easy-to-use and intuitive graphical environment. Create models with easy by using architectural elements and break them down into finite elements for detailed analysis. Flexible modeling with templates. Save your time with our templates, which can be easily modified for suit you need to create frame structures, three-dimensional and complex forms such as spheres and cylinders. Productive fragmentation and selection. Manipulate structural elements with the precision you need. Select, group and hide elements by their characteristics. It makes project management much easier. Visualization of results. Data processing in Lira 10 
tools your calculation into clear graphical illustration and structured tables and allow you to create customized reports in Word in order to facilitate subsequent analysis and presentation. A new version of this software provides you with a wider range of tools for tabular editing, thus greatly simplifying the processes of preparing complex structures for calculation. For notes, it is now possible to set and edit parameters for absolutely rigid bodies, combine displacement and configure a local axis of direction in the tabular editor. For structure elements, now you can define hinges, rigid inserts for the plates and bars and assembly stages. For advanced axis settings, you can now set local axis, axis for calculation of bar internal forces as well as stresses alignment axis and autotrophic axis for the plates and volumetric elements. Modeling tools have been updated. They facilitate work with geometric objects. Using this function, you can easily design architectural structures with complex elements, including arches and rounded corners. The edit option of plate intersection opens up new possibilities for creating complex roof shapes and other architectural structures. The function of insertion via clipboard makes it much easier to work with model fragments, allowing you to transfer them between projects. Improvement of the finite element mesh is especially evident in the point of transition of different dimensions or in the areas with large elongable elements, where you can now apply one of four smoothing methods to achieve optimal results. In response of numerous requests of the software users, we have integrated functions such as saving model fragmentation for different views, providing convenience in hiding elements and rotating the model while saving the view by previously fixed the fragment. Flexibility in node management. Now the new function enables you to create node groups not just elements. It provides you with increased flexibility for fixing and creating single node noded elements based on selected nodes. Improvement in dynamic and try of geometry now includes convenient switching to auto mode during modeling and intuitive dynamic and try of coordinates when copying and moving. We have automated the application of attributes so that you don't need to click apply manually. Now your every action becomes faster and more efficient, which saves your time. This and many other innovations in Lira 10 are expected to optimize your design process, increasing productivity and precision every time the software is used. That is all I have to say. Thank you for your attention. My greetings to you, dear audience. I would like to acquaint you with the main and new capabilities of the software package Lira 10 in calculation of bases and foundations. Soil module allows you to specify the geological conditions of construction site to take into account uh, the mutual interaction between structure and base soil. It is provided that automatic modeling of the soil model under the designed building with subsequent calculation of some great reaction coefficients for slab foundations, as well as stiffnesses and bearing capacities of the piles will be performed based on specified geological conditions. The possibility to converse the element reactions into soil loads to clarify some great reaction coefficients has also been implemented. The main purpose of the soil module is to enable calculation of stiffness and settlement of foundations 
in accordance with the recommendations given in DBN, SNP, SP, Eurocode, including those based on national specifics of Kazakhstan standards. In the soil editor mode, you may create a soil model by specifying for the boreholes such data from geological report as their coordinates, marks of the color, soil layers and their characteristics. The space between boreholes will be taken into account by means of linear in interpolation of thicknesses and marks of soil layers of the created boreholes. In addition to soil distribution, you can specify various types of loads not acting in the finite element model itself, but affect the neighboring area with their weight, which significantly changes the stress distribution under the foundation slab as a whole. One can model this by using separate geometrical primitives for which the load will be specified. These geometric primitives can be created by means of the program tools or imported from the uh, DXF format. Once the initial data are specified, you will be able to view vertical and horizontal cross sections with interpolated soil distribution at each point. To calculate the stiffness of slab bases and conditional foundations, we have implemented three approaches – Pasternak model, Winkler-Fass model and modified Pasternak model. Each approach has its own advantages and disadvantages. You can choose the method that suits you best. After successful calculation of the slab foundations directly in the soil editor, you can review locally for each element the stress distribution over the depth of the compressible layer and the separately calculated parameters. In general, for the model after calculation for the bars and plates, we can view the mosaics of subgrade reaction coefficients. Settlements Absolute and relative settlement differences and a lot of related information, such as mean modulus of deformation, Poisson's ratio, etc. In addition, the soil system enables you to calculate pile stiffnesses and settlements according to different standards. User can specify the location and mark of piles, borehole, pile cross-sections and a number of parameters which can be unique for different standards. In the soil editor mode one can view cross-sections with piles, calculated settlements, bearing capacities, etc. In the calculation results for the piles you can obtain mosaics of reactions in the piles, mosaics of stiffness in all directions of the piles as a whole, bearing capacity and subgrade reaction coefficients on the lateral surface in the vertical and horizontal directions. Many related data are also available for the viewer that can be used to track intermediate stages of the foundation calculation. If the modeled piles consist of bars, you will be able to calculate the internal forces in these bars and the bearing capacity of reinforced concrete piles in the context of their reinforcement adequacy. So you will be able to select the necessary reinforcement and to check how effectively the existing reinforcement has been installed according to different forms of bearing capacity. Now let's proceed to the innovations that we have implemented in the new version of the program. One more type of piles, namely screw piles, is now available for calculation according to DBN and SP. In our modeling we use the piles in the form of a round rolled metal pipe with a screw at the end. 
for the screw piles, we calculate the bearing capacity under compression and pulling out. Settlement, including in the pile cluster group or artificial foundation, stiffness, etc. In many situations, the pile's stability is checked for compressive internal force and reinforcement adequacy. And often it makes sense, because the horizontal pressure on the soil is not high enough to result in significant deformation of foundation. However, if there are significant transverse forces or bending moments that may occur, for example under seismic action or wind load, it is not evident that only one check will be sufficient. The main purpose is to check that stress from lateral pressure on the soil does not exceed a certain critical value, which is defined according to the formula shown on the slide. Single pile calculation results can show you both the extreme stresses and pressure distribution along the length of the pile shaft in the form of graphs. In addition to the stresses, the graphs also show the distribution of transverse forces and moments calculated based on the applied internal forces at the pile head and soil pressure along the pile shaft. If the graphs are not convenient for viewing, then you can obtain this information in tabular form. Besides stresses, we also determine the extreme values of pile head rotations and displacements, and these parameters could become one more stability criterion. One of our most important developments is the expansion of the range of capabilities for pile calculation according to Eurocode. Only settlement and stiffness calculations for single piles were implemented in the previous version of the European standards. Version 14 is supplemented with Euro cluster function, which allows performing the same calculation for pile clusters. According to the recommendations given in the Eurocode manual, the calculations are based on the methods listed in Pulo's book. This work covers a wide range of problems, which have a number of advantages over the methods, which are based on the Soviet standards. These include the calculation of pile clusters containing the piles with different diameters, lengths, widening, etc., and the interaction between such clusters. If it is difficult to perform such calculations according to DBN or SP, then theoretically it is possible to apply the European standards. The intergroup influence between different Euro clusters is implemented by the program automatically on the basis of the soil model you have created. The idea is that if we have a lot of pile clusters, we can assume that each cluster works as some equivalent separate pile. By gathering all the piles into one group, we can count them as some cluster of equivalent piles. Based on this, additional settlement caused by influence of other group shall be calculated for each group. Software package Lira 10 automatically creates contours of pile clusters, defines equivalent piles and finds the final additional component of settlement. When calculating foundations, it is necessary to transfer the reactions to the initial data for iterative refinement of the bearing capacity and pile stiffness, or the subgrade reaction coefficients of slabs and bars. Please note that design internal forces should be taken as the basis 
for bearing capacity and normative internal forces should be taken as the basis for the foundation deformation. Previously, the user controlled this aspect and it was necessary to make two types of calculations since only design or normative reactions were transferred at one time. In version 14, we have implemented the possibility to transfer both sets of internal forces to the input data simultaneously, so one set will be applied for the calculation based on the ultimate limit state, and the other set will be applied for the calculation based on the serviceability limit state. Thus, it will significantly accelerate the designer's work and reduce the probability of accidental errors. In addition, to facilitate iterative calculation of slab and pile foundations, we have implemented an automated search for subgrade reaction coefficients and stiffnesses recalculated in the soil system. The program itself will recalculate the soil problem, start calculation of the entire model, transfer reactions to the initial data, and make subsequent iterations. It allows minimizing the human factor in the process. It is sufficient to indicate the conversion coefficient, the loading state or combination from which you should take the reactions, and convergence parameters of the process under which the iterations will be seized. This function has been implemented in the batch calculation mode. Special non-linear calculations of 3D models are needed in some cases. Examples of such problems are given on the slide, but in reality there are much more of them. Software package Lira 10 provides that once the soil model has been created based on borehole's data interpolation, you can create a 3D soil model to use it at the next stage of finite element analysis. We provided this capability in previous versions, but soil characteristics were transferred as linear materials and the engineer himself had to assign nonlinear properties to the elements. Now we have enabled nonlinear characteristics to be automatically transferred to the initial data of the 3D model. This option is available both for 3D problem and for plane deformation problem if you analyze only cross section of the model. I have acquainted you with the main information. For more details about all innovations, please refer to Lira 10 website section versions. Link will be in the description under this video material. Thank you for your attention. My greetings to you, dear audience. My name is Yuri Evdekimov. I would like to acquaint you with capabilities of SP Lira 10 and innovations in SP Lira 1014 which relate to steel structures. Lira 1014 software package performs calculations of steel structures by ultimate limit state and serviceability limit state, both in the mode of check and in selection mode in accordance with the current national and European standards of design. Steel structures are selected or checked based on the results of processor calculations. Engineer shall specify such initial data as cross-sections, materials and design characteristics. Regulatory base of road profiles include the profiles manufactured by Ukrainian enterprises and by the countries of near and far abroad. The assortment base and the nomenclature of the cross-sections are constantly becoming more diverse. National and European standards provide that steel structure Materials include steel of various classes and grades. 
It's also possible to create user-defined assortments of cross-sections and steel of various classes and grades, based on the existing or previously developed assortments. This slide shows a calculation model taking into account the selected cross-sections, a deformant model and a diagram of moments resulting from one of the loading states combinations. Some editor windows available to users are also shown. Further, I would like to focus on the specifics and peculiarities of our program. One of such peculiarities is quite detailed accounting the corrosion of steel cross sections made of road profiles, which can be useful for restoring and strengthening of damaged structures. This slide shows the corrosion of I-beam and channel bar as the SF depth of corrosion on the flanges exceeds the thickness of the flanges itself. However, due to the slope of the inner edges, this flange is not ruined by corrosion completely, and the remaining part of the cross-section can be included into the calculation. It's worth to mention more in detail the calculation of elements of variable cross-section implemented in SP Lira 10. For this type of cross-sections out of steel profiles, there are available welded I-beams, both with two and one axis of symmetry, as well as symmetrical welded rectangular hollow sections, with rectangular or square cross-section. The wall height and flange height of such elements can change only according to the linear law. At that both walls and flange can change in one element. You can obtain more complex forms of structures resulting from such elements, for example, as it's shown on this slide. When you check the overall stability of the elements of variable cross-section by applying national standards, you should take into account the following peculiarities of their work. Firstly, when the stability of an element of variable stiffness is lost, its effective lane is also a variable value along the element lane. Secondly, if the basic value of effective lane of such an element is known in a certain part of this element, then you can find an effective lane at any other place of this element. When setting the element of variable cross-section, one should specify its profile at the beginning and at the end. In such an element, you can specify any number of intermediate cross-sections, their dimensions will be considered in the program. Such element can also be fragmented into several elements and combined into structural elements. When setting the design, the user should specify not only the value of effective lane, but also the place along the bar lane to which this value corresponds. This will be its basic value, and based on it, in course of calculation, the program will define its value of effective lane for each of the calculated cross-sections. However, it's possible to set a constant effective lane for the whole cross-section. Methods for determining the effective lane of elements of variable cross-section can be different. This is a separate topic for discussion. The most rational is to use the stability subsystem of our software package. This method allows you to determine the effective lane in the middle of the element. Now let's proceed to through two branches cross sections. A wide range of variants of such cross sections is a distinguishing feature of SPLIRA 10. The program provides for a universal two branches cross section consisting of two branches and connecting elements between them. A wide range of assortment can be set as branches. The connecting elements are implemented as a geometrically invariable grid or slats. In this case, a. Branches can be of the same or different profile and dimension. If the branch dimensions differ significantly from each other, the program generates a warning. b. Different geometry can be accepted for the connecting elements made in form of grid. C. One or two planes can be accepted for the connecting elements made in form of grid. D. Connecting elements made of strips can only be two planar. Therefore, 
Our aim is to provide the engineer with a wider range of choices, both in terms of calculation and design. Through three branches, cross-sections are widely represented in our software package. The program offers a wide range of such cross-sections with different profiles of branches. All three branches are taken from the same profile, they form a regular triangle and are oriented with the principal axis symmetrically with respect to the center of the cross-section. Geometrically invariable lattice or strips can be chosen as connecting elements. It's accepted that all three planes of the connecting elements are identical with respect to the type of the connecting elements, the lattice outline and their cross-sections. It should be noted that torsional calculation is envisaged both for two branches and three branches structures. At the same time, it's recommended to use the seventh feature of the model for two branches structures with a single plane lattice and to assign seventh type of finite element for such cross sections. It should be mentioned that current standards specify only three branches cross sections with branches made of beveled angles. However, the technical norms which define the angle dimensions after beveling and accordingly their geometric characteristics are not presented in the reference literature. Taking into account the above mentioned, and based on beveling technology, we have defined the expected dimensions of the angles. They are presented on this slide, and further calculated their geometrical characteristics. One more distinguishing feature of SPDRA 10 relates to structural elements, which unite several bar finite elements into a single structure. The structural elements unite not only rectilinear structures, but also elements whose nodes are located on the arc of a circle or form any convex figure which is convenient for calculation of various arch structures. Besides, by using the precision parameter, which shows the permissible deviation from the specified geometry, it's possible to avoid these restrictions, for example, by creating special structural elements. One of the innovations implemented in LIRA 1014 is the refinement of the coefficients for accounting the plastic deformations development. According to the current norm set forth in DBN and SP, the elements of steel structures are subdivided into three classes depending on the allowable stress-strain behavior. The influence of plastic deformations is considered with the help of coefficients and exponent n. The current norms represent these coefficients in tabular form only for one class of SSB. It's assumed for SSB of the second class. We have obtained accurate formulas both for the second and third class of SSB. This version implements the formulas for symmetrical cross sections as the stress in bending element are considered. For SSB of the third class, i.e. at a full plastic hinge, we use the following formulas. Doublet static moment divided into the resistant moment plus the limit of norms but not more than 1.15 of the mean overload factor. For SSB of the second class, two approaches are applicable, namely, the first approach, you can define the ultimate moment perceived by the cross-section during elastic plastic work. If from the ultimate moment of the cross-section with a full plastic hinge, SSB of the third class, you deduct the moment under perceived by the elastically working part of the cross-section which high equal to quarter H. This approach gives good results for I-beams with bending in the plane of the wall and for box cross-sections. The second approach, if we assume elastic work of the wall cross-section within the allowable relative deformations, these are four elastic deformations, the bending moment there will be four times higher than the elastic ultimate moment. Then, we must deduct from this moment what is underperceived by the plastically working part of the cross-section in those areas where the stress exceeds the effective resistance. This approach provides good results for I-beams with parallel edges of the flanges at bending in the plane of the flanges. The simplest cases that give you easy to use and clear formulas are summarized here. They are somewhat limited in use, which is considered in the program. 
The formulas are more cumbersome for the ring, but they give accurate results for any thickness of the ring, ranging from a thin pipe to a solid circle. New version of SP Lira 1014 includes an expanded list of the cross sections used in design analysis according to Eurocode. The list of available cross sections is shown on the slide. The new cross-sections will enable the engineer to expand the range of solved problems, both in calculation and in their design of building structures. Starting from version 10.14, the program is capable to take into account the coefficient of material strengthening under seismic actions. According to Eurocode, a user sets coefficients in the structural characteristics editor, for which a separate control is created. If seismic load is aviable in combination or lighting states, this coefficient shall be multiplied by the strange characteristics of the material. Version 10.14 implements a refined approach for calculation of the alpha coefficient, Table 5.2 of Eurocode 1993-11. It's worth to mention that Eurocode defines four classes of cross-sections by SSB. In order to determine the alpha coefficient in general case, while defining the class, one should know how the neutral line is located in this cross-section, at availability of plastic hinge. In the program, this coefficient is determined iteratively by using a nonlinear deformation model. Starting from version 10.14, this calculation is omitted for the cross-sections which even hypothetically cannot be assigned to the third first classes. In most cases, this load significantly shortens the time required to select steel structures. Also, for some acceleration, the alpha coefficient is now calculated not by the ratio of compressed and stretched zone areas, but the intersection of the neutral and middle lines of the section shall be analyzed. So, there may be some minor difference in the results of steel structures calculation in version 12 and version 14. When we consider how the components of restraint torsion are taken into account in SP Lira 1014, it should be noted that calculation of elements which cross sections are subject to warping requires more detailed analysis of SSB. For such elements, it's necessary to determine the so called full or total torque MX, consisting of pure torque MXT and restraint torsion MXW. It should be emphasized that total torque MX makes a direct influence on the distribution of shear stresses. In turn, the B moment MW contributes to the normal stresses. The values and visualization of the above mentioned first factors are available in SP Lira 10 for the seventh type of FE. Starting from the version 10.14, these components of restraint torsion are taken into account in design calculation according to Eurocode. Please note that standards do not specify any universal guidelines for taking B moment into account when plastic deformations are available. Therefore, B moment is taken into account in the design calculation only for the cross sections of the third and first classes because only elastic work is allowed for them. If the model doesn't contain FE of the seventh type, then when checking selecting elements in the total torque moment, there is no division into free and restrained torsions. So, it's recommended to use in SP Lira 1014 the seventh feature of the model and to assign FE of the seventh type to the cross sections prone to warping. SP Lira 1014 also has implemented structural calculation of lightweight thin wall steel structures, here and after referred to as LTSS, in accordance with Eurocode. At the moment, these are sigma and z profiles, however, in the future, it's planned to expand the nomenclature of profiles. In general, the method of calculation of these profiles is very similar to that implemented for other sections. In course of calculation, the cross sections of N unclassed profiles is simplistically split into rectilinear areas. It allows using simple analytical formulas to determine geometrical characteristics of the cross section, such as moment of inertia, moments of resistance, 
sectorial coordinates, etc. In turn, the characteristics are necessary for strange instability calculations. The LTSS strange is evaluated both for the cross sections of the third and first class, depending on the loss of local stability at least in one part of the cross section. This is based on Mises equivalent stresses, where the normal stress component includes stresses caused by axial force, bending in two planes and B moment, and shear stress components include stresses caused by cut in two mine direction, stresses caused by Senvinan torque U moment, and stresses caused by bending torsional moment. During calculation, the equivalent stresses at characteristic points of the cross section shall be determined and the maximum values shall be compared with the allowable values. Since LTSS are prone to warping, it's recommended to use FE of the seventh type for them. As for the calculation of LTSS stability, it's necessary to recall the limitations which are not yet implemented for an open band cross section of an arbitrary profile. First of all, the factor of loss of the cross sectional shape stability is not taken into account. The loss of profile wall stability caused by counter compression in the transverse directions is also not evaluated. Assessment of such types of stability loss requires a separate approach each time. Therefore, it's difficult to automate this process. The types of stability loss such as local, bending, torsional, bending torsional, planar and general stability are calculated in SPLIRA 1014 in accordance with the requirements set for in EN 1993-11. A rather significant specific feature of SP Lira 10 is the possibility to weave the progress of any check, which makes the calculation of steel structures transparent. The formulas with reference to the relevant points of standards are represented in calculation tracing. Thus, the engineer can be sure that calculation is correct and the obtained values are adequate. SP Lira 10 provides a number of application utilities for calculation and design of steel structures. Mainly, it relates to determination of effective lengths of elements. This slide shows utilities for determining the effective lengths for the columns of uniform cross section in one and multi store frames, in compliance with the current norms set forth in DBN and SP as well as for determining the effective lengths of racks with undecoupling. The last one will be very helpful to practicing engineers as well, designing especially industrial enterprises. We often have to face a situation when the presence of couplings between steel racks of working and maintenance areas is an obstacle to the technological processes. This slide shows the utilities for determining the effective length of stepped columns, for determining the effective length of compressed branches of through slattice columns in accordance with the current norms set forth in DBN and SP, as well as for the calculation of bending thin steel deck, which works according to the model of rigid string with hinge support or with rigid embedding of supports. At the end, I would like to emphasize that SPDRA 10 is your reliable assistant both in calculation and in design. Thank you for attention. Hello, I am Vladislav Karachuk. I'd like to introduce the possibilities of the software package Lira 10 for calculation of reinforced concrete cross sections. In general, Lira 10 allows you to calculate reinforcement for sections of arbitrary shape. For the calculation, a standard list of parametric cross sections is possible. If you do not find the right shape for your project in this list, you can create a custom cross section or uh, arbitrary shape and select reinforcement for it. In addition to monomaterial cross sections of the bar, we can also analyze composite reinforced concrete cross sections with various types of cores. The section can be both with an external pipe contour and without it. In addition to a secular composite reinforced concrete cross sections, calculation of composite reinforced concrete of a rectangular type 
positives and without an external pipe is available. Lyra also analyze plate elements. Our users are familiar with the standard plate cross-section, but in the new version we have added many plates with ribs and hollow plate. I will tell about these innovations a little later. As for materials, we have available databases of various types of concrete. For reinforcement materials, we can use metal, composite and basalt reinforcement. I note that uh, in the same cross-section there can be inclusions of different materials, for example, metal and composite. This is uh, relevant for buildings during restoration or reconstruction, but such combination can be used in new buildings, where composite reinforced inclusions are used in order to spend less more expensive steel material. In general, if in our database you do not find the reinforcement that you use, you can create it in the databases editor by specifying the required characteristics. The same applies to concrete. In Lyra you can always find tools that will solve such problems. User can create an arbitrary number of reinforcement inclusions with arbitrary location and arbitrary material of each inclusion. There are tools for limiting the error of each inclusion and the possibility to simultaneously build up different groups of inclusions. As uh, design parameters, we can set various parameters and coefficients that are relevant for the selected regulation rules, consider buckling, opening of cracks, etc. Reinforcement is selected, ensuring the most economical distribution across the section. When calculation of required reinforcement and its checking according to rules, we use a linear deformation model, providing the possibility of calculation for any combination of axial forces and bending moments. As nonlinear properties of reinforcement and concrete, we use the trunk diagram. But according to DBN, it is also possible to use a more accurate curvilinear diagram for, of concrete. During analysis of uh, the reinforcement uh, in the plates, we can see that the directions of the main stresses are not necessarily aligned uh, with the reinforcing bars, so it is recommended to find the directions at the most dangerous angles for this structure. Globally, we have two approaches, the analytical and wooden dormer methods. The essence of the analytical method lies in the fact that we go through the directions with a step of uh, 15 degrees and uh, recalculate the reinforcement. From all these options, we choose the most dangerous one. This approach gives a small margin of error, but works slowly. Another approach is the wooden normal method, which uh, we also implement. We calculate the resulting forces of uh, the membrane group and bending group. Then, uh, having some equivalent internal efforts, we calculate the scheme with them. Also, Wood's method works much faster than the analytical method, but it uh, can give slightly overestimated reinforcement values in some cases. A few words about the properties of concrete. For Assemblage tasks, uh, we have an instrument that considers the fact that concrete uh, design strength is attained during the building creation. We are able to set uh, reduction factors for the strengths and tunes modules of concrete at each stage of erection. As a result, uh, these characteristics will be considered both during the creation of the Stiftes matrix of the model which affects uh, the internal forces and displacements uh, and during the design calculations. As a result of design solution, we can extract required reinforcement in bars and plates in the form of mosaics, isofields and diagrams. This data is also duplicated in a table view. We also have the opportunity to use such a tool as a barrier capacity surface in order to observe at the nanograms how each internal force influence on uh, the bearing capacity of the element. Some people tell us that uh, they use this regime. In addition to the topical calculation of required reinforcement in slabs and bars, we also perform a special type of calculation as punching of slabs. We have tools for automatic creation of the punching contour and tools for its manual editing. We can take into account uh, the contour, capital, etc. 
our strong point compared to our rivals is that we provide a complete tracing of the calculation of transfer reinforcement for function according to regulation rules. Thus, you have the opportunity to review the calculation and uh, don't assessment to our programmers a uh, black box. In addition to design calculations required reinforcement and verification according to standards, we can perform direct nonlinear calculation of reinforced concrete structures with specified reinforcement. This calculation are relevant for structures where the linear properties of the material don't allow to achieve sufficient result accuracy. It is also convenient for the calculation of deflections and taking consider consideration of the creep of concrete for direct dynamic analysis, including seismic and progressive damage. Lira supports uh, several types of nonlinear materials for concrete and reinforcement. You can find the best model which is suitable for your problem. After uh, finite element analysis of the model, in addition to displacements, you have opportunity identify elements that were destroyed by any of the criteria, get mosaics of enveloped stress and deformation in plates and bars as well as stress and deformation at each point of the cross sections of rod or plate elements. During the nonlinear analysis, the creep factor is important. It has a significant effect on the final deflections in the scheme. In the Lira 10, the creep law can be calculated both according to the Although that it is set manually and according to the method which presented in the Eurocode appendix. Having the final creep curve, we can get the full displacements in different time intervals. You can set the required time intervals yourself in the linear word and history parameters. I described our main features, now I will focus on innovations. We have done some optimization of nonlinear information when open widgets thanks to which we managed to speed up the time of calculation of required reinforcement compared to version 10.12. In general, depending on the parameters of the computer and the solved problem, the acceleration can be from 20% to more than two times. Here I am sharing with you an example where a scheme which includes more than 80,000 elements and uh, 13 Design combination wordings is calculated in uh, 52 minutes in uh, 10.12 version, but now you can uh, do it in 27 minutes in 10.14 version. If you use the wood and buffer method for the plates, the acceleration will be even more noticeable. Uh, 18 minutes in 10.14 uh, version instead of uh, 42 minutes in 10.12 version. This test was done on a computer, the parameters of which are shown here on the slide. For some schemes and computers, the acceleration may be less than two times, but it will still be significant. Next, we have implemented the possibility of creation templates for reinforcement inclusions, which saw the location and values of point in this distributed reinforcement, area values, etc. Having created such a template once, you can apply it to other cross-sections and schemes. This template is stored in the template directory and can be transferred between different computers. If necessary, you can save, rename and delete this template. Templates are available for all types of reinforced concrete structures, except for user reported cross-sections of arbitrary shape. The next innovation is relevant for converted calculated reinforcement into initial data. This procedure is used to check uh, this reinforcement for nonlinear analysis. Previously, we transferred the enveloped values of each inclusion to the initial cross-section. In this way, the reinforcement was enough, but it was not always optimal if there are peak reinforcements in some domains, but there is no argument need to put them in other zones. To partially solve the problem, we can now fragment each of the inclusions into an integer number of ranges. After that, the reinforcement will not be transferred to the initial data for one cross-section, but in the general case, several cross-sections will different reinforcement will be created. But in the general case, several cross-sections with different reinforcements will be created. Now, let me introduce our main innovation, which allows the calculation of hollow slabs and slabs with ribs. Such slabs are economical in terms of concrete consumption and reduce the overall weight of structures compared to ordinary slabs. In version 10.14, we have already worked on the fact that for the slabs, it is possible to calculate required reinforcement and check it directly without using intermediate solution via equivalent elements. 
As you can see, we have wide possibility to display the location of the reinforcement inclusions similar to typical plates. Also, a separate type of designing was created for them similar to the designing of bars as and plates. During the calculation, we separate two directions of a foot in x and different directions and consider these four parts similar to designing of bars. We actually ignore the tangential forces tau xy and the moment mxy, but um, for most structures it will not have any essential value. Perhaps in the next versions we can take into account these efforts. After calculating these slabs, you can directly obtain calculated reinforcement from them in the form of mosaic so is the fields or tabular data, similar to ordinary slabs. As for special analysis, uh, we have implemented the possibility of calculating punching by column, which modeled via plate elements. Now it is enough to set the list of common nodes of the column and slab in the punching group. Next, you can create a punching contour, generate a detailed uh, trace of solutions with formulas, etc., similar to calculation of punching of bar column. This approach has its limitations, which are indicated here on the slide. If the requirements are not met, you will either receive an error or some appropriate warning. And finally, I want to introduce new types of nonlinear material laws for calculation according to your code and DBN standards. In general, these laws are very similar to each other. The difference is that the DBN diagram is obtained by polynomial dependence, and the Eurocontra diagram by some analytical one. The most interesting feature of the slows, which cannot be reproduced on a uh, piecewise line diagram, is that they can have a descending compression branch, uh, which is uh, activated in some types of physically nonlinear finite uh, elements. Activation of the failing branch is possible if the element works on bending. Thank you for your attention. Good afternoon. My name is Irina Peripichai. I am Quality Control Engineer for software program Lira 10. Implementation of BIM Building Information Model technology in the field of construction design offers new opportunities for engineers and design companies. Wide capabilities of SP Lira 10 Integration with popular CAD systems such as Revit, AutoCAD, Tecla and others significantly increase design efficiency. Specialized models have been developed for some of these systems which can transfer not only geometry but also loads, material, cross-section, etc. Others are integrated with common formats such as EFC, SAF and others. Geometric modeling programs don't have specialized finite element modeling tools. Therefore, integration is performed by means of architectural elements specially implemented in Lira 10 for this problem. This implements allow the most convenient transfer from geometric modeling data to strange and stability calculation with maximum use of data already available in the information model as well as updating the information model with calculation result. Espelira 10 also supports various file formats such as MCH, ENP and other for efficient transfer of finite element mesh data between compatible programs. Beam integration strengthens the position of engineers and architects, allowing them to exchange data easily. Clarify the design and quickly respond to changes, thereby allowing them to implement the more challenging design ideas. Lira integration with Revit is performed by means of plugin, which allows to transfer in a fail-safe manner the analytical model with all objects, elements, hinges, rigid bodies, loads, restraints, materials and cross-sections. Databases of cross-sections and materials will be, will be synchronized when you import the model from Revit. The results of calculation obtained in Lira 10 can be exported as ISO fields for steel profiles and the data of reinforcement selection can also be exported. To import the model successfully to SP Lira 10, 
via Revit plugin for subsequent calculations, it is necessary to convert the 3D model into an analytical model. If required, set all necessary loads, restraints, choose standards and set the model triangulation parameters. Once the model has been transferred to a Spellera 10, it will be sufficient to set up only the design and initiate the calculation. The calculation results will be exported back to Revit on the analytical model. This integration is very effective, as it allows engineers in Revit to correlate the design reinforcement and steel profiles with the recommended choice in Lira and visually identify problematic areas. Integration with AutoCAD program is performed in three case areas. Import in a general GXE format. This format allows you to transfer flat and rod elements with special orientation, cross-section, materials, loads, etc. Import of floors plans in DXE format. This approach focuses on importing a set of DXE files of floors which include walls, columns, beams, loads and others. Every such object is located in defined layer with unique name. This method is suitable for complex projects where drawing a sketch of each floor requires an individual approach. Successful import in a general format requires for both types of import. The element and load contour can be placed on separate layers, the name of each specify and the characteristic that will be aligned to the element during import. For example, the profile name and standard. Export of finite element model in DXF format provides the possibility to export the initial data of the designed model of the results of Lira calculation to AutoCAD. If you import floor plan from DXC files to Esperira 10, you can transfer not only main geometric characteristics and cross sections, but also some additional data such as materials, file stiffness loads and others. At the same time, a dialog box will be displayed where you can set additional import parameters, both for the whole model and for separate floors. A Spellera 10 integration with advanced steel allows you to transfer material, geometry and profiles between programs before you import and export structures you need to synchronize the databases of the used profiles. Analogs will be selected from the list of the exciting materials. The process of integration with Tecla is carried out by using a special plugin. The plugin provides for the transfer of information about geometry in the form of architectural elements, cross-section, materials and loads between programs. It is necessary to pay particular attention to the synchronization of profile and material databases between Tecla and SP Lira 10. This integration allows, for example, to modify Tecla model by selecting steel profile in SP Lira 10. It considerably simplifies the process of updating the model to the specific requirements of the project and allows to optimize the work process. In the new release, we have updated exciting plugins to their latest versions. We have provided the possibility to import from the universal sub-format, which is open data exchange format that is based on Excel. It allows for continuous integration between different programs. Moreover, we have added the possibility to import from sub-200 and import exports from Abacus. The slip format now supports reading from trapezoidal slab loads. The universal format of mesh file for the finite elements analysis MCH has been updated up to version 4. Now, with the help of Lira API, users can read and contours of cross section and the cross section table displays the area and moments of inertia. Geometry profiles load and fixing materials can be transferred via the sub-format. 
All parameters are specified according to the documentation in the form of Excel tables. This format is quite simple and supported by most programs available on the market. SP Lira 10 supports version 2.1 of the format. In response to users' requests, we have developed format supports for SAP 200. This compatibility offers new perspective for engineers, allowing them to use both tools in parallel and combine advantages of each tool. Such combinations allow the engineers to optimize the processes of creating the models, use finite element method and perform structure calculation. Import of data in ENP format, transfer of finite element geometry loads, materials, rigid bodies, etc. has been implemented. Here is an example where Abacus allows you to solve gas dynamics problem in Wallen queen flow and interaction with a structure. The contact forces resulting from the Abacus analysis can be automatically imported as an input data for mechanical calculation in Lira. For operating that Abacus cannot perform, namely steel structure design and reinforcement selection. We have also added the capability to export models from Lira to Abacus format to facilitate interaction with other programs such as Abacus or ANSYS. That is all I have to say. Thank you for your attention.